Hi, my name is Taylor Nordstrom, and I am a bio major here at Salve Regina. And I will be reading Those Darn Squirrels. On the outskirts of town, at the edge of the forest, there was a little old house. The only thing older than the little house was the man who lived in it. Old Man Fookwire. Old Man Fookwire was so old that when he sneezed, dust came out. He was also a grump. He hated pie, he hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, the old man painted pictures of the birds that visited, in, visited his backyard. There were whirly birds and bonga birds, baba birds and yaba birds. Even a rare fluge bird, fru, flugel bird came by once or twice. Fuchs, Fuchwire's paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change, the color of old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter, as they did every year, and that he would be lonely. Then he had an idea. If he fed the birds, maybe they would stick around. The old, so, the, so old man Fookwire built beautiful bird feeders and put them up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries, and soon birds came from all over the forest just to eat the old man's eat in the old man's yard. But the birds weren't only one weren't the only ones who liked the bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Not many people know this, but squirrels are like the cleverest of all the woodland creatures. In fact, they're fuzzy little geniuses. They can make houses out of a tree, a bat out of a bunch of leaves, and a bunch of a box kite out of twigs, dirt, and squirrel spit. They are so excellent at math. Winter was fast approaching, and the squirrels needed to gather as much food as they could to get ready. So they decided to take some of the bird food. The birds were not happy, neither was the old man Fookwire. When he discovered what had happened, he shook his head, old, he shook his old man fist and yelled, those darn squirrels. He filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung them from a clothesline then he went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to get those seeds and berries. But the squirrels were determined. They devised a plan, and this time they took all the food from the bird feeders. The birds were furious. Hrumph, 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 yelled the bonga bird. Those darn squirrels, yelled the old man, Fookwire. Yum, said the squirrels. Now, it was Old Man Fookwire's turn to devise a plan. He went to the general store to get supplies. He bought lasers and clamps. He bought wires and springs. He bought all sorts of tools and built a, ver a veritable fortress around his bird feeders. Then, he refilled them very carefully. Na, 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 snorted the fluge, flugel bird. The squirrels stayed up all night working out their strategy. They drank cherry cola and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Finally, they had it, the perfect plan. They put on their helmets and prepared to launch themselves into the air, over the fence, between the lasers, and onto the bird feeders. The first squirrel misfired and hit a tree. The second squirrel went too high and in, 
landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed clear over the house. The birds laughed and laughed. They each had one last delicious mouthful of seeds and berries from the old man's feeder. They then flew south for the winter, just as they did every year. Thuzz, said Flugelbird. After the birds left, old man Flickwire was lonely, just as he was every year. He fixed himself some cottage cheese and pepper, his favorite snack, but he was still lonely. When he looked out the window, the squirrels could tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted the old man. I don't like you squirrels. The squirrels had a meeting deep inside the large tree. They decided to give the old man a present to make up for taking the seeds and berries. Now, not many people know this, but squirrels are not only fuzzy little geniuses, they also collect just about anything they find on the ground. These squirrels had a vast stockpile of spectacular junk to choose from. What would they, what would fluke wire like? Bottle caps, popsicle sticks, postage stamps? Finally, they had it, the perfect gift. The squirrels stacked all their loose change in on old man Flickwire's doorstep. There were dimes and pennies. There were nickels and quarters. There were even a few tokens from Coco's arcade. It all added up to $47.36, plus a few rounds of skee-ball. Maybe you squirrels aren't that aren't so bad, Flickwire said when he found out found the coins, but I still like birds better. This gave the squirrels another idea. They raided the junk collection again and got to work. When old man Flickwire woke up the next morning, he was amazed to see that the birds had returned. But wait, those things weren't birds. They were squirrels in disguise. Great googly moogly, said old man Flickwire. This will make squirrels make quite a painting. He ran outside and took down the lasers and the wires in the spring loaded trapeze. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders. Then he painted till his brush ran out of bristles. The squirrels were so overjoyed they had a party in old man Fookwire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fookwire, and he shook his old man fist and smiled. The end.